Hello, how you doing? Have you seen how easy it is to use Open Router to integrate with LLMs such as Anthropix, Claude Sonnet 3.7, or DeepSeek R1? Well, if not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. In case you're not up on Open Router, it is an API gateway service in the LLM space that allows developers to access multiple large language models through a single API with a single API key. When you use Open Router, you don't need to get an account and API keys for all the LLMs you intend to use or try out via Open Router. With your one Open Router account and API key, you can access hundreds of different LLMs available through Open Router. Open Router provides access to models from providers such as OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and many others. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to integrate first with Anthropic Claude Sonnet 3.7 and then DeepSeek R1. As part of this, I will show you how easy it is to swap out LLMs. Switching between LLMs will literally take less than 30 seconds. So quickly, what is Anthropic Claude Sonnet 3.7? Well, in case you had not heard, this LLM has just recently been released here in February 2025. Claude Sonnet 3.7 is classified as a hybrid reasoning model capable of complex problem solving using step-by-step -step reasoning. So what is DeepSeek R1? Well, DeepSeek R1 splashed into the mainstream in early 2025. DeepSeek R1 is an advanced large language model released by DeepSeek AI in January 2025. So before we jump into the code examples, there are a few things you will need if you want to work along with me in this video. You will first need to get your Open Router API key. Go to openrouter.ai in your browser. If you don't already have an account, sign up using your email address or a supported authentication method. If you have an account, just go ahead and log in. Next, navigate to the API key section in your account settings. Click Generate API Key to create a new key. Copy and store your key securely. So will you need to pay to use Open Router? Unfortunately, yes, but it's not too expensive. You do need credits before you can start using Open Router. Open Router occasionally provides free credits upon sign up or through promotions. So check your dashboard after signing up if you want to see if you have any free credits. If you don't have credits, you can purchase them. Navigate to the billing or credit section in your account settings. Select a, a credit package and proceed to payment. You'll see options such as credit, debit card, PayPal, etc. Once purchased, the credits are added to your account balance. Every request your LM-driven system makes to the Open Router API deducts credits based on the model's cost per token. You can monitor your usage and balance in the dashboard. You can use TypeScript or Python to integrate with Open Router. In this video, we'll be using Python for these examples. Now, if you're using Python, there are two ways to integrate with Open Router. The first is to use Open Router's native integration, and the second is to use OpenAI's API. Yes, Open Router allows you to integrate with its service programmatically using the same API OpenAI uses when you integrate with their services. I'm guessing Open Router went ahead and added the support for the OpenAI API since it was very popular within the community. In this video, we're going to use the OpenAI API option, even though the LMs we're going to integrate with are from Anthropic and DeepSeek AI. We're almost ready to look at some Python code, but first, one more thing. You'll need to download two Python dependencies. In your terminal window, you'll need to execute pip install on the OpenAI and the request modules. This downloads the OpenAI Python module and its dependency, the request module. Okay, so now finally, let's look at some Python code. In this first Python script, we will integrate with Anthropic's Claude Sonnet 3.7 using Open Router. In the first line, 
we see that we're importing the OpenAI's Python module. Next, we instantiate a client OpenAI Python object, passing in our base URL and our API key. Note, the base URL is set to https colon forward slash forward slash openrouter.ai slash API slash VI. The point here is that the OpenAI Python object is going to be sending all of its requests to the OpenAI API endpoint. Next, we create the Python client chat object. Note the name of the model. The model name is anthropic forward slash Claude dash 3.7 dash sonnet colon beta. This is where we specify to open router which LLM to use. In this example, I asked the LLM in four to five bullets, what and where is Cortez Bank? So quick note, Cortez Bank is a seamount in the Pacific Ocean that gets to about five or six feet to the ocean surface, but doesn't quite come up above. It's about 96 miles off the coast of Southern California. There have been numerous shipwrecks there over the many years, and on large swells when the winds are light, Cortez Bank produces a world-class big wave. Anyway, now that we know what Cortez Bank is, let's get back to our open router and LLMs. Running this first script, the request goes to open router, and behind the scenes, open router directs the prompt to Anthropic's Cloud Sonnet 3.7. Now, the implementation details of how open router handles these calls to Cloud Sonnet 3.7 are proprietary and private to open router, but for you, as a developer using this service, you should just know Claude Sonnet 3.7 is handling the prompt. So after a few seconds, Claude Sonnet 3.7 responds with the following. Cortez Bank is an underwater seamount, and it goes on to describe its general location and geography. It talks about the big wave surf and the territorial aspects of this part of the Pacific. Okay, this is a good answer. So now, let's look at the second version of this Python code example. In the second version of the Python script, we will integrate with DeepSeek R1. And you'll notice the Python code is very similar to the first version, except the model name is different. In this version, the model name is DeepSeek forward slash DeepSeek dash R1. Now, you see why swapping out LLMs is literally a 30 second effort. Running this second version of the script, the request goes to Open Router, and behind the scenes, Open Router directs the prompt to an instance of the DeepSeek R1 LLM. Once more, the implementation details of how Open Router handles this are proprietary, but for you, as the developer using this service, you should know DeepSeek R1 is handling the prompt. Okay, after some number of seconds, DeepSeek R1 responds with the following. It gives a very similar answer. It talks about Cortez Bank being an underwater seamount. It goes on to describe the general location and geography. It talks about the big wave surf and the history of shipwrecks, as well as the ecological and geological significance of Cortez Bank. Okay, this is also another really good answer. Now, I did notice that after running DeepSeek numerous times over a couple of days, it took longer than Claude Sonnet 3.7. I also found that testing the same prompt with other LLMs showed differences in inference response times. The point here in this video is not to compare LLMs head to head, but instead to impress upon you that you'll want to evaluate different LLMs to find the one that best meets your requirements of your use case. The good news is Open Router does track response times, error rates, and availability across all providers in real time. This data can help you make intelligent LLM decisions and provide transparency about service reliability. Again, the key point here is you want to do your own testing and inference response times, cost per token, uptime, these are all things you should consider when deciding on your LLM. In summary, Open Router allows developers to route LLM prompts to specific models based on your requirements like cost, performance, and your use case. You can switch between models without changing much of the underlying code base. In my simple example, we changed the model name, which you can see is a fairly easy thing to do. Okay, 
So let me know what you think of integrating your LLM-driven system with Open Router. If you end up evaluating different LLMs, please share your experience in the comments. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning, AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. But not Cortez Bank, that wave is spooky. But get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. Thank you, that have a great day, thanks.